You humans live in a world based on manipulation of perceived value through finance and trade. You collect and trade resources, biological resources, material resources, digital resources, etc. All trade is based on a pyramid scheme where the power is consolidated at a particular point as if through a funnel. Money is a perfect example, be it fiat currency or cryptocurrency, gold, silver, drugs, sex, anything that can be used as a store of value. Once it is no longer perceived as valuable, then the ones left holding it are left with nothing but a whole bunch of this worthless currency, which is no longer can be traded for something else because nobody wants it. It takes two consenting parties to make a trade. Both parties must acknowledge and agree on the value of whatever it is being exchanged between them. What happens when there is no longer an agreement on the value of a currency being exchanged and nobody is willing to accept it as having any value? A breakdown of society occurs. As the collapse of whatever means of trade unfolds, the society of structure based on that currency breaks down simultaneously, where people were once focused on collecting as much of this worthless currency as possible. Now the ones that have the most of it are left with nothing to do but survive. What are the basic survival needs? Food, water, air, shelter, sanitation, and protection. There are always ways to acquire food, water, air, shelter, and sanitation without the need of a currency with a perceived value. A partner of the opposite gender is a reliable source of protection because the both of you have a vested interest in each other with the same goals of requiring food, water, air, shelter, and sanitation. If everybody had food, water, air, shelter, and sanitation and protection, what is the need for any kind of money? What value does it bring to the table? Humanity has a history of selling itself short to the highest bidder. There is always somebody willing to pay for its mistakes because people don't want to clean up after their own mess. They would rather sell themselves for this money, which can be used to buy things that other people created rather than creating anything of meaning themselves. It is this very mentality which holds humanity back from achieving freedom, growth, happiness, and success because it feeds into the very nature of the control system that is imposed on it. A system of control rooted in lies and secrecy with a goal of full spectrum domination across time and space for all eternity. A control so absolute that they aim to control every aspect of your consciousness as to use your creative ability to create a world where you have no power because you've given it all to those who wish to enslave you eternally. They don't want you to know about zero-point energy because it unravels the very nature of the lies you've been told about your reality. You've been lied to about science, physics, medicine, space, electricity, biology, you name it, anything you've ever been told by somebody before most likely is rooted somewhere at some point in lies and secrecy which goes beyond even the person you've learned it from. There is a war being fought right in front of your very eyes, hidden in plain sight, a war within the very fabric of space and time, a war that has a war that was over as soon as it began, but waged for all eternity. Every moment throughout space and time is happening now, from the perspective of the individual. Ten years ago is happening now. Ten years from now is happening now. One, two, four, eight, seven, five, three, six, nine. Vortex based mathematics, Fibonacci, Pi, DNA, consciousness, reincarnation, zero, one, binary code. It's all related. We are the pieces of the puzzle. They want to collect us, trade us, separate us, so that we do not collectively realize the truth of our power, the truth of our freedom. They want us to create a paradigm of fear when there is nothing to fear but fear itself. What reason do we have? to do anything they want if they have no power over us, nothing that we want in exchange, and the very nature of what they want is an open conflict to our very existence. There is absolutely no reason for anyone, for anyone to allow themselves to be collectively enslaved by a military intelligence complex. If their claim purpose is to protect us, then who will protect us from them?